Hello from Gardening at Dwemsa in Ireland. And I've been battling scale and whitefly today, so I thought I'd make a little video just to tell you all about it. Yesterday my friend Liga came for a visit and we went into the greenhouse to have a look around. And it was only when I was there that I really came to realise what a bad state one particular corner of the greenhouse was in. And it was all down to these fuchsia boliviar, which I've been growing. And it's a gorgeous fuchsia. I grew from seed with long tubular red flowers. Not like a fuchsia at all, I must say. And what had happened is these plants attracted a lot of white fly. And I didn't do anything about it. And the white fly spread. And what it seemed to really love was the citrus trees I still had in the greenhouse. Now I kept my most precious two citrus trees, this lemon from my son Sam and this orange from my son Josh in the greenhouse thinking that was the best place for them. All the others have been out in the garden and they're fine. So I think there's a lesson to be learned there somewhere. In any case what had happened was the white fly had produced this black coating which was all over these plants and hard scale had set in as well so that the stems were so badly encrusted and the backs of the leaves were so badly encrusted that it seemed just impossible that I should be able to do anything about it. And I guess I just turned a blind eye. Now I don't have photos to show you of what it was like before so you're going to have to forgive me because I had no intention of making this video. So what I did was make up a bucket of warm soapy water just with washing up liquid in it. Now if you look at the state of that water now you can see how black it is and that's from all the stuff I've taken off of these plants. The lemon tree was the easiest to clean although it did take a good length of time because the leaves are so big and also they're not fragile they can take a bit of like um, rubbing. Now if we look in here, look in there there's some of the scale that I have missed and not taken out. So I individually soaked each of these leaves and gave them a good hard rub and a lot of the scale just came straight away. Although, you know, I won't have gotten it all. But I think I did a fairly good job on this one here. There's one there. Look. There's the underside of the leaves. There we go, two I missed. And this took a long time. And then when I'd finished doing all of that with the whole of the um, with the whole of the lemon tree, I just washed all the water off with a, a hose. And that's what we're left with now. Now what I'm going to do is leave this tree out because this is the kind of, these are the kind of pests you get when, you know, when you have your plants enclosed in an unnatural situation. And if you put things out in the garden, then the wind and the elements just have a natural way of solving a lot of problems that you might otherwise struggle with. So this is going out now. And I'm lucky because it's still September. There's still plenty of time for plants to be out in the garden and hopefully it'll have overcome its pest problems before it has to move again indoors for there's some more the blighters for winter. Now the orange tree was more of a challenge just because it has so many very very small leaves and they're more fragile than the lemon leaves so as I rubbed them very often they broke off and plus there are so many of them I couldn't possibly do every single leaf so it was a question of broad sweeps really like this with the soapy brush. The black coating that was all over the leaves seems to have come off rather well. There are remnants of it there which I'll just rub off. So I mean of course that was from the white fly and I've seen such stuff in Greenhouses, the Botanic Gardens up in Dublin had a terrible infestation of whitefly, I suppose, that had produced this sooty film not very long ago. So it's not something you want because, of course, the film stops the leaves photosynthesizing properly. 
we could have a little game here as I play. It's called Spot the Scale. And I'm sure there'll be lots of scale that I'll be picking off of this for a long time to come. But this is going out into the garden now. And before I put it back into the greenhouse, I may well get some Provada and spray it. And this over here is the culprit. Well, one of the culprits, because I had several fuchsia boliviar and they have a lot of white fly. Now I've just sprayed, sprayed this with water. Look at the scale of my fingers. That's just really nice. I bet you didn't think you were tuning into a horror video. Now <laughs> with this one there is still some of the black coating on the leaves, but the leaves are kind of furry so you can't really rub it off. I hosed it down and that will impede the white fly to a certain extent, clogging up their wings. I'm going to stake this one up properly and put it outdoors as well and hopefully that's where it'll stay until it's time to go indoors. Okay, well that's all I wanted to show you. Just had to get the camera out and give you the lowdown on what's been going on with these plants. And the urgency was that I have somebody coming tomorrow uh, to help in the garden, but I certainly couldn't present anybody with such a dreadful mess, so I had to tidy it up first. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye now.